Hello, it's Marco Montoya here from Marco in 3D, and in this video, we're going to break down this short little animation that I created. And these rocks are from the Rugged Asset Rock Pack, available on Blender Market. Now, to be fully transparent, I do have an affiliate link for it, so if you want to pick it up, there is a link in the description if you want to support the channel. However, it is not necessary to use this rock pack. You can use any types of rocks or create your own. So this is the blend file, and you can see here that we've used all these rocks. Now, if you stay to the end, I'll actually show you how I did the where the rocks actually come into the body. It's a really good trick that I did. Let's just quickly look at the ground. The way I created the ground was I just simply used the material from Extreme PBR Combo. Now I've got an affiliate link for that as well. And I just slapped it on the base there. And if we go into just edit mode, what I've done is I, I used the proportional editing tool and kind of grabbed the point and lifted it up by the rocks to kind of as if the sand is being pushed up there. Now it's not the cleanest of animations, but it got the job done. So the main difference I did here in rigging this character wasn't that if we go to modifiers, this rock isn't attached to the armature. What it is, is if we go into the constraints, it's the child of the armature. Now, why did I do that? That's because it allows me to use the rigid body setting. So if you jump over into rigid body, I'm actually able to enable it at a certain point. So we can see at this point here, I've got two keyframes and the first keyframe is when I have the animated box ticked and then the next keyframe is when I have it unticked and that's when the physics starts. The other thing that I've done is if we zoom in, and let me just go into solid mode just to make life easier. If I were to select all these rocks, you can see that the rigid body is enabled over a period of time. And so what I've done is I started at the head and that's the first thing where the rigid body is enabled. This is the secret to this video is the walk cycle is actually backwards. So when the physics enables, the rocks are actually falling. But when I come back into my editing software, what I've done is I've reversed the clip and now it looks like the rocks are flying into the character. So that's just a little bit of trickery that I was able to do. Hopefully you learned something from this video. So if you found this useful, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps up to date with my content. If you want me to keep doing these cool little videos, please leave a comment below letting me know.